What's going on, people? Rich Nixon here with Seagent today. Wanted to talk a little bit about the Lag Buster and the Countermeasure 2 software that comes along with it. Now, I'm sure you've run into plenty of problems with lag compensation when gaming with your friends. What we're going to do is show you how to fix that. But first, let's take a look at some really horrible examples of lag compensation so you know exactly what it is. Let's start with Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Now here you see some lag compensation. Players running around, running in place, rubber banding. And there's a zombie shooting him in the head and he's not dying. On to Halo 4. Look at this zombie killing survivors. Not because of skill, but because of lag compensation. In Gears of War 3, jumping in the air. You're not supposed to be able to do that. And shooting your targets is supposed to kill them. You can see me unloading my entire clip into this guy, and he's not dying. That is lag compensation at its best. Now that you've seen some examples of what lag compensation looks like, let's take a look at the Countermeasure 2 software for your lag buster and find some ways to solve these problems. So you can access this software either via your Android phone or via a laptop, computer, anywhere where you can punch in the right website. Now that we're here on the control panel for the lag buster, let's hit the gear tab. From here, you can check out your network performance meters, but let's go on and hit the countermeasure tab, and this takes us to the countermeasure 2 software I was talking about earlier. From here, you can hit edit, and we can begin manipulating the timing and bandwidth for any game you're playing. Just for example, let's go ahead and type in Gears of War 3, and the timing that I like to use is 10 milliseconds. Then over at Bandwidth, once again, let's type in Gears of War 3, and I like to use 200 kilobits per second. Once again, this is just an example. It's best if you're experimenting when you're playing, so try out multiple timing and multiple bandwidth options and find which one works best for you. Once you're done with that, hit the Save tab. You'll notice that both of your options were saved and I'm going to go ahead and click on the option that I've created along with the bandwidth option. You'll notice that both of them flash white. That means that these options are now active. Now that you know how to use the Countermeasure 2 software, let's get online and show you what you can do with this. Your teammates and enemies are still going to be affected by lag compensation, but this will no longer be a problem for you. Using this advantage, let's take a look at what we can do. Here I'm using a short range rifle to take down enemies from afar. I've got a teammate running in there, stealing a kill. But now he's shooting at things that are right next to him and I'm farther away from them and still taking them down. My teammate is about to get downed. Here he is on the floor. I press the X button to pick him up and execute the last enemy. Now you may not know this, but pressing the X button to pick someone up can be a serious problem when dealing with lag compensation for Gears of War 3. What the Lag Buster and the CM2 software do is make sure that when you're trying to pick someone up on your team, you actually pick them up instead of just hitting the X button with nothing happening. A big problem online, but this device solves that problem. Now let's take a look at that again. Going to pick up this player with the X button, boom, up and running and shooting and gunning. Taking down enemies, no problem. Now here's something curious, my entire team seems to be firing, but I'm the only one getting kills. Must be because they are dealing with the lag compensation and I am not using the Lag Buster and the Countermeasure 2 software. Here's another pretty cool effect using lag compensation to our advantage now. I'm going to hurdle over this thing and take out the rest of the team one by one. Then I'm going to run over here and save my friend just because I'm nice. nice. Let's move to Halo 4. That should have killed me, but I'm still alive and gunning thanks to the lag buster and the Countermeasure 2 software. Let's take out as many as we can before they try to 
take me down. Now that you've seen a taste of Halo 4, let's move to Call of Duty Black Ops 2. But before I show the clip, let me make this clear. The player in this clip you're about to see was using a lag switch. And what my lag buster is doing is fighting the effects of the lag switch and allowing me to play without any sort of lag compensation caused by lag switching. You will basically be immune to lag switching if you are using a lag buster. As you can see, perfect footage, no problem. Shooting all these zombies off of this lag switcher that just lag switched himself out. I have a perfect connection, no problem at all taking out the zombies and a knife to the face. And let's go back and check on our lag switching friend. He is attracting a ton of aggro. Lots and lots of zombies all over him. And I'm trying to help him out. You know, I'm a nice guy. I'm just going to shoot all the zombies off him, get all the points, win the game. Boom. Headshot, headshot. Winner. All right, people. That's all the footage I've got for you today. Get on the Siegent website. Gear up, grab a lag buster, and I'll see you online.